This game was the craziest in this tank that I played all together, so enjoy it. I'm sure if I would only show you this one battle, you would definitely be convinced and would buy this tank. I'm thinking about going mid, dude. The Kalan is really bad for this tank because you have zero gun depression. Any gamers here? Oh, dude, I want these guys to come here. Now we have to go. Holy sh... The greatest thing going for this tank is its side armor. It can get up to absolute crazy armor thickness when hit at certain angles. So this is what the whole tank is about. And you definitely have to capitalize on this if you want to make the T22 work. Have we spotted even? Where's the FV, man? I'm gonna wait for this guy to shoot. Nice, shot. He's got fuel tanks. I can't cross though, I think. I think Effie just shot again, dude. Can we get a fire? It's fuel tanked again, dude. I'm gonna push now. Kill this guy. After clearing the middle, it was time to head towards the guys on the K-line. Where's the Effie? Spiridala is my jemme, kurva match. Ah, bro, minus commandir. Gotta push these guys here. Oh, what the? Where the do that, bro? Now, when it comes to situations like this, the D22 is your friend, and because of the aforementioned troll armor, as unexperienced enemy players will have a bad time facing off against this thing, and even though your DPM isn't the best, it is still around 5.5 seconds, which makes double checking very much possible. Ain't no way! No, we lost Giga Chat, man. This Leo has kind of trapped himself, though. I want to go for this guy. He's not really protected by anybody. Oh, I shouldn't have rammed him. I generally dislike Artie, but our 261 was very helpful this game. Thanks, Artie. Pass. Oh. <laughs> what a game to get the second gun mark chat. Blah, games. Very aggressive playing style. Nice. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Look at this, guys. 33,000 HP in the enemy team. 33,000 HP. I wish I could just side scrape here, but. This is a 9 with HP booster. Ah, lovely. This is gonna go away. So, so they have nothing here or what? No, they have a they have a mouse. They have a mouse and E Honda. Why are they running away then? I like why Amor him instantly just snaps the VZ, bro. Yeah, we need those two to shoot, man. So yeah, once again, I am taking advantage of the juicy side armor, and I easily made the crowd bounce most of his shots. As you can see, the armor is not so great against heat shells though. By looking at the map, I realize that the flank is just about to fall, so I have to make my way out of here real quick.
they're not even pushing. They're pushing the wrong side. I was genuinely confused as to why they were trying to push that street instead of clearing out our guys next to the factory. But at the same time, I also found myself in a really good position for this next super important phase for this battle. What is this push? Is he gonna, are they gonna come here? Wow, he pens me in the turret. I just hope that the Eskong is not gonna die to the 279 for no reason, dude. Oh, did the gorilla full HP, bro? The Fosh. Yo, no way there's a Fosh yoloing, bro. A warning shot. Oh, he doesn't give a shit, this guy. Fosh is about to yolo. We need to deal with him. Which angle is he gonna come from? Left or right? He just stays there. If he waits for me until I kill the Ihanda, and then he pushes. Huh? No way. Kill the mouse, dude. That's the only thing. Even was that, bro? Hmm. I'm gonna try play there, and we'll see. I mean, I have no gun impression, but it's tier eight. Only thing that would be really annoying is the Udes goes there. That would be really annoying. But what are the chances, right? Is Leo spotting there? What is he doing? Oh, he is. In this battle, we are going to be playing the T22 against many low tiers who are kind of oblivious to the situation. In matchmaking like this, the tank's armor shines quite bright. I just wish the gun would too. Hit is the Honda. I'm just I'm just contemplating yoloing there and killing the Progetto, man. Actually, because the, the UDS is put it on the other side, and so are the heavies. So might as well just yolo here. There's the Prepara. We can give him a shot. Can I any with heat? Look at these two. As you can see, the gun depression is absolutely terrible on this thing. If these tanks would be tier 9 or tier 10, I would be in a lot more trouble. I need to track this guy. He's gonna try and reload now. I mean, it doesn't matter. Wow. Oh. I'm gonna go and spot those three, man. Let's go do it now. The armor can surprise many enemies that do not really know just how troll it becomes when you're just spamming unnamed shots at this tank. But don't let that fool you. More experienced players can still make Swiss cheese out of this tank. Uh. He's gonna yellow for me? <laughs> okay. 
Okay. STRVK loves me, man. Go for this guy. I need spotting damage, bro. I just yelled at me, Honda, bro. Nobody's gonna kill this guy. Those of you who are avid Soviet Wolfpack medium enjoyers, if there is one thing I love in this tank, it is the fact that it is so troll and nimble when it comes to circling people, especially slow heavies. Go for Leo. 6-5, not bad. I mean, for a, for a 4 minute game. Big gaming, man. This tank does so much module damage. Driver, fuel tank. Yesterday I had a, had a game where I did 16 and crits. What is this guy doing? You're too fat, you cannot fit in there, bro. The gun of this tank is super weird, sometimes it reacts so reliably, just like the gun of the Object 140 or the T62A, but other times it completely potatoes and it just pisses you off so much. If you want to play this tank, you have to learn to live with that, and even though it has the least DPM of all the Soviet meds, in actuality, the gun stats on paper are worse compared to its Soviet counterparts. Actually, we have nobody in the city, guys. We're gonna get triple capped. Now, we still had a bit more time before I had to run in like a maniac and decap. And this defender happened to be in a great spot for us. I knew he was gonna peek. Gonna go back again. We're gonna still get capped. I have to go into the city. Oh. <laughs> I would love to just yolo these guys, but. As a most unwelcome guest shows up to the party in the form of the Leo 1, our team actually managed to secure the town so now we weren't in such a hurry anymore to clear this site. Since the Leo prevents me from picking any of these guys, I am forced to get out of here and look for other opportunities elsewhere. Dude, enemy Leo, we need to spot him, man. Coming to this position and knocking the tree down here gives you such a huge advantage and when you couple the really good side armor with laying in the town here you will be surprised what this thing can do. You are a legend dude. I'm just gonna yolo this guy, side script, man. You already saw how to play with this tank, but I haven't thoroughly explained it yet. You basically have to reverse side script by only showing your side armor at an angle enough to hide the back of your tank, and voila, you have basically mastered a T22. Good job. Now enjoy the horde of clueless enemies who don't know where to shoot you. So yeah, if you ever catch an enemy T22 abusing your team by just side scraping like this, you just have to shoot it next to the gun in the mantlet and you will easily penetrate it with even regular shells. Back in the day this tank used to have even more armor and insane laser-like gun handling, so just imagine how it was when it first came out. Oh, hi. I 
I unfortunately do not have footage of really bad rounds in this tank, so I cannot show you the overly bad side, which is its lack of gun depression and weak turret armor, but overall, I think this tank can be extremely good depending on the situation and the enemies, especially when it comes to playing on city maps and side scraping less experienced opponents. Oh, he's burning. Bam! In this last battle, I was super close to finally marking it, but are we going to be able to do it? And what did I say about the tank at the very end of the round? Stay tuned. I have a guess. I'm gonna push. They're not gonna peek because of those guys. Point is to stay. This will be aggressive, but I mean, if I if I get over peaked, they should they should shoot, no? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh huh. This rhino seemed very sus about me, so I constantly had to keep an eye on him. Yeah, don't try it, Anakin. What? As the crime wagon has insane gun depression, it doesn't take him very long to actually start shooting me. Ah, now he's reloading, so... This crime wagon is so annoying. I, I I took so much damage for no reason there. As our team started pushing, they actually diverted the crime wagon's attention and I could put a shot into his turret here. Why am I picking this? There was no need. Look, they're just having a picnic! For some reason, our allies were still expecting the crown to show himself, even though he can just completely peek for free, and this prompted me to step back a bit and go back into a safer position. Oh, oh no, 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 please don't block me. Wow, that instant repair. He's not AFK, no. Look at the crown now, he pushes. Yes! F*** this tank. I'm, not, I'm never playing Peter into again. I am never playing Peter into again, man.